A company wants to construct an open topped rectangular box with a volume of 450 cubic inches so that the length of its base is four times the width. We're asked to express the surface area of the box as a function of the width and use a graphing calculator to determine the dimensions that minimize the surface area. First thing that I'm going to do is draw a picture. So let me draw a box. And it's open top, so I'll say, okay, that part's open. And if we just say that this is our width, and this is our length, and this is our height, we know then that the volume is 450 cubic inches, and we want to express the surface area of the box as a function of the width. All right, so let's see. We have um, five sides to this. We have the bottom. So the surface area, then, would be the area of the bottom, which is the width times the length. And then we have the front and the back. So those have dimensions w by h. So we have 2 times w times h. And then we have this side and the side opposite it. And so we have two of those that are s, uh, that are l by h. Now, we know that the length of the base is 4 times the width. So we know that the length is 4 times the width. So we can replace the L's with 4 W's. So we have surface area now is equal to W times 4 W plus 2 W H plus 2 times 4 W times H. Now we're asked to express the surface area of the box as a function of the width. So now all we need to do is get rid of those H's. We need to get rid of that H and get rid of that H. We still have one piece of information that we have not used. The volume of 450 cubic inches. So the volume is the width times the length times the height. So the volume is the width times 4 times the width times the height. So the volume is 4w square h. And since the volume is 450, we have 450 is equal to 4w square h. And if we divide through by 4w square, we find that 450 over 4w square is equal to h. So now I can replace h with the 450 over 4w square. And we now have the surface area as a function of width. And let's see, w times 4w is 4w squared plus 2w times 450 over 4w squared. And then I'd have plus 8w times 450 over 4w squared. So there we have the surface area. Now let's clean it up maybe just a little bit. Surface area is a function of w, and would be 4w squared. And then let's see, I can reduce between the 2 and the 4 here, and the w and the w. So I would have plus 450 over 2w. And here I can reduce between the 8 and the 4. Uh, so that would be leaving a 2 in the numerator, so that's a 900 over w. And so here, 450 over, w, over 2w. That's 4w squared plus 225 over w plus 900 over w. So the surface area as a function of the width is 4w squared plus 1125 over w. So there's the there's what I would hope you get as the result for a, for the first part of the exercise. Now, use a graphing calculator to determine the dimensions that minimize the surface area. So we have the surface area function. Now let's go to our graphing calculator. Input that function using x as our w. So I'd have 4x squared plus 1125 divided by x. Now the width, the minimum of the width is 0, and the maximum of the width, I'm not really sure. Um, 
we'll not worry too much about that, but we know it's more than we know the width is more than zero and probably less than 450 for sure. And then the y, the output is a surface area, so it's going to probably be on a, a higher order. So I'm going to say for my window, let's go from zero to I don't know how about 50. And we'll use a scale of fives there. And for the y's, I'm going to go zero to I don't know 500. And we'll use a scale of hundreds there. I'm just sort of guessing right now, and we'll see what happens from here. For our this is the surface area function. All right, and so from my surface area function, I do see a minimum value. Let me go ahead and calculate it. Minimum. All right, let's scroll to the left until we see our point coming into play. There it is. All right, and so now I'll use the minimum command to calculate it. So the x minimum, the minimum occurs when x is 5.2. So x min was approximately 5.2. So that was the width. So my conclusion, the dimensions that minimize the width Uh, that minimize the surface area, excuse me. R with 5.2 inches. The length, the length is 4 times the width. So 5.2 times 4, 20.8 inches. And then for the height, well, the height is 450 divided by 4 times the width square. So 4 times 5.2 square, and that's 4.16. So the height, 4.16 inches.